Hello and welcome everyone. So we are going to do today the Tempest Act 2 scene 1 as you were uh, requesting me to come with this video. I am Reshmi Mukherjee. In my channel you get ICC, ISC, CBSC videos, English literature and English language. Not history, geography, science. I am not good at it. So only English literature. So literature and language. So let's start the video Act 2 scene 1 without any more delay. Follow me till the end and you will be tremendously happy with what you have learned and you can score very well too. So many of you are requesting uh, Act 2 Scene 1 so this is part 1 of your video. See from Monday to Friday we are doing so we will not burden ourselves a lot. We will directly uh, do little bit portions of Act 2 Scene 1. Finish it off, understand if any doubts do ask me. Okay, let's begin. Another part of the island. Enter Alonso, Sebastian, Antonio, Gonzalo, Adrian, Francisco and, and the others. Okay. Gonzalo, beseech you, sir, be merry. So, I request you, sir, please be merry. Please be, don't be so sad. You have cause, so have we all of joy. So, you see, you have reason to be happy. For our escape is much beyond our loss. So, our escape is much beyond our, whatever we have lost, if we measure it in a weighing scale, just like the one picture you see over here, if you measure it, you will see our gains are more than what we have lost. We have at least saved our lives, right? We have at least been able to save our lives. Maybe we have lost a number of things, but that is less. How many people's, people are alive? A lot of people are alive. How many people are dead? Only few. So you have reason to be happy. Our hint of woe is common. That means our hint of our reason to be sad is common. Every day some sailor's wife, the masters of some merchant, <coughs> the merchant have just one theme of woe. So, you see, there are many people who share the same fate like ours. There is a shipwreck and uh, many uh, merchants' ship will, you know, lie wrecked everywhere. And there are so many people who suffer the same fortune, the, 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 this misfortune. So, but for the miracle, but strangely for us, what has happened? I mean our preservation. So, our preservation is of course a miracle. This is a miracle that has happened. Like we, uh, even after the shipwreck, we are alive. So, we should be happy with it. Few in millions, just a minute, yes, few in millions can speak like us. So there are very few people who, you know, who can survive this, uh, this shipwreck and, uh, you know, can, can breathe after the shipwreck. So this preservation or that we are alive, this is something very, you know, something that we should be glad about. Few in millions can speak like us. Few in millions can, you know, survive like we have survived. Then wisely, good sir, we are sorrow with our comfort. So just wait. So much of happiness is there. We are all alive. And your loss is only one. So you should be at least, you know, not that unhappy. Alonso, pre the peace. I don't want, why is Alonso so unhappy? Because Alonso has lost his dear son. He receives comfort like cold porridge. So he sees everybody is on the island just other than the, than his son, which is, who is Ferdinand. He receives comfort like cold porridge. Now, cold porridge is this food you see here. Actually, when it becomes very cold, no, you don't like to eat porridge. It becomes very tasteless. So, Sebastian says, you see, whatever you tell Alonso, he will take it or he will, he will eat that word like cold porridge. He is not interested in anything that you say because he has lost his son. The visitor will not give him over so. Now Antonio says visitor you see in, Christ, uh, in um, those who were Christians those days. People from the church or the maybe the priest used to visit them. Or the church functionary used to visit them when they were very sick, when they were dying. The church uh, functionary would come, speak good words, read from the Bible. This was done, this was their work. Okay. So Antonio says you see this visitor, who is this visitor compared to Gonzalo? Who will never stop speaking. He is going on speaking. Will not give him over so. So he will not leave him so easily. He will keep on speaking. Look, he is winding up the watch of his wits. So again he is winding his watch. No, he is giving some old watch you must have seen. That will have to be winded for, uh, you know, so that it ticks well. So uh, he is winding his watch of wit again. And he will again strike. That will He will again start speaking. Gonzal, sir. So immediately he has started speaking. 1, 10, so already one word is spoken by Gonzalo, he will continue speaking, he will never stop speaking. Gonzalo, when every grief is entertained that is offered, comes to the entertainer, so Gonzalo says, see, if you are sad in every single thing, okay, today I have not done, I have not done well in the exam, I am sad. 
tomorrow i maybe my mother did not give me one toffee i am sad so if every single thing if you are entertaining every single sadness in that magnitude so much whatever happens you are crying so what will happen what will happen that offer comes to the entertainer that means the person who is entertaining every sadness me always crying for this for that for this for that everything i'm crying so what will happen what will come, what happen to the entertainer what will happen to this person a dollar so sebastian says so what will you give so he makes a different meaning out of it he says of course this entertainer will be given a dollar will be paid he is an entertainer no what will you do with him you will of course pay him for entertainment but what is gonzalo trying to me that somebody who is entertaining every single grief everything makes him sad he is sorry to the extreme at everything you have taken a uh, dollar comes to him indeed so this dollar means pain so of course if he is sad at everything he will have to bear a lot of pain okay indeed you have spoken truer than your purpose so of course you have done a very good job i wanted to say this word only it is of course dollar that comes to him it is of course sadness that he has to suffer you have taken it wisely than i meant uh, you should so sebastian says oh my god you have become so wise you are using the word dollar in such a beautiful way you are using a pun okay that means same meaning a uh, different context therefore my lord so he can't new speaking Why? What a spendthrift is he of his tongue? Spendthrift of tongue means constantly spending words, constantly talking. I pray this pair so long. So says, please spare me. Stop speaking. I don't want to listen to anything. I'm just so so tired. Gonzalo. Well, I have done, but yet. So yes, yes, um, master. It's fine. Just one word more. So again, he keeps speaking. Sebastian. He will be talking. So it is necessary that he talks. So he cannot just keep quiet. Although the king tells him to do so, and do you? Which of he or Adrian, for a good wager, first begins to grow? Now this Antonio and Sebastian is making fun of Gonzalo and Adrian. Antonio says, "Let us bet. Okay, let us make a wager that who will speak first? Whether Adrian is going to speak or Gonzalo will speak first. Whoever speaks first, we will. Ah, uh, that person will win the wager. The old cock. So Sebastian bets for the old cock. That means Gonzalo is older." So the old cock, Antonio the cockerel. Cockerel means the younger one. So Adrian is the younger one. So Antonio bets for the younger one, which is Adrian. Sebastian bets for the older one, which is Gonzalo. Sebastian done. The wager a laughter. So if you win the bet, you get some gift, right? Some prize. So what will be the prize? A laughter. The other person will laugh. Sebastian okay a match. Though the silence seem to be desert. So who starts speaking? Adrian. So who wins the wager? Of course. Antonio. So Antonio wins the wager. Ha ha ha! So you are paid. So uh, Antonio won. So Sebastian must laugh. So Sebastian has paid by laughing. Adrian. Uninhabitable and almost inaccessible. So and Adrian is describing the island. It is. It is uninhabitable. Nobody lives over here. And inaccessible. That means no one can come over here. It is so wild around. Sebastian. Yet. Adrian yet so Sebastian just gives another word to his line yet and immediately Adrian takes that word and he continues speaking and do you he could not miss it so he could not just stop no something he has to add he has to keep speaking Adrian it must needs be of subtle that means it needs to be very mild tender delicate temperance if the climate seems to be Although it is uninhabitable, nobody stays over here. The climate seems to be suitable because I find it, uh, you know, good enough to be here. Antonio, temperance was a delicate wench. So Antonio says, yes, temperance. The climate is a delicate, is a beautiful lady. Ah, and subtle, as he most learnedly delivered. They are just making fun of Adrian. So Sebastian says, yes, he he talks so well of this climate, you know. So they are taking climate uh, as a lady, and and they keep mocking that yes, this climate is so good, so beautiful a lady, Adrian. The air breathes upon us here so more sweetly. So although I find this island and uh, nobody stays over here, at least this uh, you know the air is very calm and peaceful and sweet over here, as if it had lungs and rotten ones. Sebastian and Antonio does not like it at all. So Sebastian says, of course, uh, if the lung is rotten. You will smell it sweet only. Your lungs are rotten, or as it were, perfumed by your fence. So, what is the smell coming from here? It is just a swampy, marshy land. 
where only you know stinking smell will come so i can just smell this stinking smell i cannot get any good smell out of here gonzalo here is everything advantages to life so gonzalo says i don't find anything bad over here i find everything is good enough to survive on this island actually actually gonzalo and adrian are very satisfied to survive okay they are happy that they could come on an island but antonio and sebastian they are you know they are the noble ones they feel that okay i don't like this place i want the king's place i want food better food not such a uh, such a land okay antonio true save means to live so antonio says yes everything is good but it is difficult to survive only again making fun of it sebastian of that there is none all little so there is nothing that will help us to survive there is nothing good enough to survive how can a person survive on an island gonzalo how lush and lusty the grass looks how green so gonzalo describes the land see it is good no there is a, a beautiful air sweet air we can breathe then the land is so green with grass everything is good what is bad about the island okay so here we will keep to this and next class again that is again uh, maybe day after tomorrow we will continue with the same portion and i need more likes and subscribes because i don't find isc students subscribing more because i don't find much views in isc videos so if i don't see it is difficult for me to upload uh, isc videos i see more number of viewers for icsc students so if you want more isc videos don't forget to bring your friends to subscribe and to view this channel otherwise it becomes a little difficult for me little difficult okay so this is your doubt clarification plate class i have already told you you are already enrolling to this your classes will be on gmeet only or zoom call in that case if you want and you have to write to me in the mail reshmi mukherjee24 at gmail dot com same spelling as my channel okay reshmi mukherjee24 at gmail dot com hope we will be able to meet in the next class again and you will join me there and before that don't forget to like subscribe and share and hit the bell icon because every day from monday to friday you get your videos and so that uh, you don't miss any it is important that you hit the bell icon that's okay and we are not going to pull 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 stretch the video okay we'll finish it off here and uh, let's meet tomorrow again bye bye